Okay, in the uh, preceding video, now there was an assignment in between where you were actually asked about this thing that I'm going to talk about, see if you can figure it out yourself. Um, I said that uh, y equals x plus 4 times x minus 2 over x plus 9 is very close to x plus 4, and that's true. It is very close to x plus 4 if x is very large. Okay, because x minus 2 over x plus 9 is very close to 1. However, I could have also said that y equals x plus 4 over x plus 9 is x minus 2 is very close to x minus 2. Why? Because, well, x plus 4 over x plus 9 is very close to 1. So this is very close to x minus 2. Okay? So x plus 4 and x minus 2 have graphs that look a whole lot different. If this is x plus 4, then x plus 2 is going to be about here. That's very different in here, but this isn't where the graph is very close. Okay, it's up here that the graph is very close, and it turns out that uh, I just saw something here that really kind of throws me a little bit, um, but not really. It's okay. Okay. Um, and I said something about a point of inflection here, and I just realized, well, because of what I've done here, there's no point of inflection. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that because in this course we don't really worry about points of inflection. Okay, so we kind of ignore that little digression. Okay, now again, the point is that we could as well say that this is close to x minus 2. You should say it's close to x plus 4. And you might think, well, somewhere between x minus 2 and x plus 4, but that 9 there has something to do with it. Um, and again, we're not going to get into an analysis of that, but if we divide x plus 9 into x squared plus 2x minus 8 using long division of polynomials, which is something you're supposed to know when you come into this course, you might have known it long enough to pass a test, but for most part people probably don't remember it. Um, and it's something that I'm not going to really spend a lot of time teaching you because uh, you can get it from Khan Academy, you can get it from Boom and Ohm. Um, a lot of examples, and I'm not going to repeat the examples. It's a very straightforward procedure. Um, in any case, we do it long division, x plus 9 into x squared plus 2x minus 8, and why x squared plus 2x minus 8? Well, that's what we get if we multiply x plus 4 times x minus 2. You can use the distributive law and verify that for yourself. And we get x minus 7 <coughs> plus 55 over x plus 9. Okay. So this means that the graph is going to get close to the graph of x minus 7, not x plus 4 or x minus 2. It's actually going to get close to x minus 7. And that graph will look something like what we could get over here. Okay, here's x minus 7. Okay, there's the graph of x minus 7. So let's say this is negative 7 on the y-axis. And here's a graph of 55 over x plus 9. Well, if we put everything together, and I'm, I'm trying to say too much right now, so I'm going to kind of stop because I want to go through this a little more slowly. If we put everything together, um, we see that this part of the graph is going to come up and be asymptotic here, um, except it's going to cross the axis, it's going to lower come a little bit, come across, so it's got its zeros at negative 4 and 2. And, um, this will have its zero at negative, well, and then you have the asymptote uh, at negative nine, so this is like negative nine, um, and we 
work it out from there. And actually, uh, the asymptote will come up this far. It'll actually come up from here, and then it'll turn around so it'll be asymptotic to this line. Now, that's more than you're going to remember. Uh, just telling you a little bit. You can come back and see what I just said once we've been over it slowly, and you'll understand it. The main thing I want you to understand now is that this doesn't really tell you what the thing is asymptotic to. This long division does. And we're going to build that up a little bit.